I'm not myself right now. I don't know who I am right now. When you deal with schizoaffective disorder or schizophrenia, because that's what it is, it's schizophrenia. It's kind of like a combination of schizophrenia and usually bipolar. I'm finding myself like in my personal life snapping at people and <sighs> just losing my life. I guess on a positive note, I have an appointment on Friday with my doctor. Hopefully she can help me with the meds and so that I can really take them and not get too sick because they work. They work really well. The meds work really well and they work immediately for me, like within a half an hour after taking them, they work. Like they stop the voices and, and hallucinations and paranoia. <laughs> but I have to take a whole one <laughs> to take a whole one for it to do that, to stop that. I don't know what I'm saying right now. Cue Diet Coke head or whoever else is gonna make a video making fun of me. Oh. I'm always sick and there's always something wrong with me. I'm not like out here trying to play the victim. I'm not trying to do this for attention. It's just what's happening to me. And I hate that people are mocking it and making fun of it as if it's like something I'm making up or doing for attention or whatever like blows my mind that someone could be that cruel about somebody who's clearly suffering <laughs> anyway i'll probably cut that part out i just want to say a huge thank you to everybody 99.9% .9 of the people in my life are beautiful supportive, wonderful, empathetic, caring, encouraging people. And I love you and I see you. Thank you. This is just really scary. And I know that I'm kind of like in between, like I know I'm not so severe that I need to be in a mental hospital, but I also know that I need help and that these meds will work. I just need to get them to function with my body is the issue, but it's my fault. Gastritis, esophagitis, ulcer, and the hernia. The hiatal hernia are all my fault because it's from purging. So I could have been okay. I could have been okay taking those meds and being nauseous and throwing up if I needed to throw up because I'm super sick. I could have been okay. <laughs> but now I've put myself in a position where, I know I've already talked about this, I'm sorry. Now I've put myself in a position where I'm having to choose every day. How do I want to feel today? Do I have to go anywhere? Because if I have to go somewhere, then I should take the pills so that I don't act crazy in public. But then if I take it, then I'll get too sick and I won't be able to be in public, so I'll have to stay home anyway. Or do I stay home, allow myself to be sick, and take the pill and not hear the voices and not see people that are not there? But then my mental health declines because I, can't, I don't leave my room. I don't leave my bed. I just feel trapped and like there's no answer. A lot of you were commenting and I should have explained this. Uh, I'm already on nausea medication. A lot of you are like, can't they just prescribe like heavy nausea meds? I'm on the most nausea meds you can take, at least the ones that work for me. There's only two nausea meds because trust me, I've tried them all, but I'm praying and hoping that there's something new that I haven't tried yet that my doctor can give me on Friday. But like, I've tried everything else and what usually, and maybe some of you can help me with this, maybe there is something that none of my doctors have suggested to me that I could suggest to them, but I'm already taking, uh, the only things that work for me are promethazine, which is like promethazine, it's like a fenugrin, and I take four of those a day. And they're, I don't know how many milligrams, 50 milligrams? And four is the max that you can take a day. I already take all that. Um, and then Zofran only works for me if it's in the IV. So when I was in the hospital, it worked great. I wasn't <laughs> feeling super nauseous because they gave me like the IV Zofran, but the pill Zofrans don't work as well for me. And so that's kind of where I'm stuck now because those are the only two I've ever found out of all the, I've tried so many, you wouldn't even believe it. Since the age of 14, <laughs> I've tried so many different nausea medications and those are the only two that work for me and I'm at the max of the one I can take at home. So that's a scary feeling because you're just like, do I just be miserably ill and deal with it? Or do I just 
try and convince myself that I can get through a day and be able to convince myself that those hallucinations are just hallucinations and not real. And that's hard to do when you're having an actual episode. And today, I just, earlier today, I had a complete meltdown, like a complete psychosis meltdown. And I know that this can be helped if we can figure out how to take these meds and not have it affect my other health issues that are going on. So I've been doing my best. All that I can do is... <laughs> Just do my best to try and not purge or throw up at all. That's literally all I can do and just hope that it heals enough maybe that if I do happen to get sick while taking those meds, then it's fine if I throw up naturally. But obviously that's no way to live either. So I don't know. I don't know. I'm just a mess. And, and this can happen when trying new meds, especially meds that are for psychosis. We knew that this could happen, you know? I need, I think I need something else to focus on for a little bit. So like I, I want to maybe think of some videos I can do that are not related to what I'm going through because it's just getting too hard. It's getting too embarrassing and too I'm I'm getting too sensitive and I'm getting too paranoid and I'm getting too embarrassed. And if anybody makes fun of me in the comments or makes videos about me making fun of, I just can't do I can't handle it right now. I'm just not in a good place. So I'm trying to think of videos that I can do that are fun. Sadly, most of those need energy and I don't have any energy, but I'll figure it out. It's just a rough patch. Again, another one. I know. Maybe I'll get up tomorrow and feel like filming something, anything. Um, just something to get my mind off of what I'm going through. I, I don't want to take a break from YouTube right now. That's the last thing I want to do right now. Right now I need YouTube as a distraction. I'm just trying to figure out realistically what I can do. So any suggestions in the comments that are realistic for me to do that you guys would want to watch, that you'd want to see. Yeah. And by the way, I'm totally safe. Like you don't have to worry. It's not possible for me to off myself. It's just never going to happen. So don't worry about that. I learned a lot in February and that's not something you need to worry about. I'm just learning to deal with all the other stuff now that that's not an option. So that's fun. Yeah. I don't know what else to say. I feel like I'm just saying the same things over now. So I'm just going to go and upload this and go to bed. And hopefully you'll see me tomorrow. <laughs> but thank you. Seriously, I... I hate that I keep giving attention to the, like, I just, it's just hard. I'm just sensitive, but seriously, 99.9% .9 of you are so supportive and lovely and beautiful and kind and sweet and encouraging. And that's what I need, you know? Um, yeah. But we'll be okay. We'll figure it out. Right, guys? We'll figure it out. Okay. We'll figure it out. All right. I love you.